Andrew says, evening all. Question regarding Teams, SharePoint Online, and Delve. Whoa, no, people don't ask about Delve anymore. We <laughs> want to utilize Planner in some public channels with several teams. We have one person creating the plan. We found that when a user starts to drill into a user profile, they can see recent files. I've done some research. It appears as though this is controlled through the profile cards as part of Delve. Users only see files that they have collaborated on or have permissions to, to, it says we, but I think C, if my research is correct. I've disabled Delve for the org. Has anyone else seen this and have experience in turning this functionality off? We want to ensure that users are unable to see others' files for confidentiality reasons. Uh, so this breaks my little heart. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too. Me too. All I think of is turning off Delve does not turn off uh, the but I access can see. that people have. Yeah. yeah. You can't have security through obscurity, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's doing the due diligence, first understanding yeah. why do you see the files. Yeah, I just lift up the rug and I'll just shove the shove it under, put the rug back down. It wasn't oh, yeah. dirty. It it's wasn't dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it yeah. Wasn't dirty. <laughs> Yeah. They can only this see the... what they got permission to, guys. They can only see what they got permission to. If the permissions yes. are wrong, you need to clean up the permissions. Right. Well, this, Open this the in fact, I just <laughs> talked about this the last couple of weeks, last couple of events, Delve has come up in this exact scenario where people would rather turn it off and they don't understand what is mm -hmm. actually happening. It's not that Delve is showing something that they shouldn't have access to. What it's doing is it's highlighting if their people are seeing something that they shouldn't, that your permission structure, your point, Kirsty, is broken. Like you've not done your cleanup. And so you, you don't do that by obscuring all things. You want people to be able to easily see what are we jointly collaborating? What was shared with me? What are you working on that's public that I can, you know, I can see so I can search on and get in my results to know that, hey, Michelle's working on that project that's relevant to something I was thinking about. Or Kirsty, you're working on something that is very akin to my last company, a project I worked on. I could share some knowledge, which is one of the reasons why you might share that in a public way and make it available for people to go and see that. So it's the working out loud model. Right. So if there's accounting files with people's salaries, you might want to increase the permissions, secure that those uh, add uh, some documents. sensitivity labels. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, I think you know, and with the with the way you know OneDrive, the M365 app, and SharePoint, you know, you, when it's all coming together into the OneDrive app, where it's got you know what's actually going on and how it's surfacing information. You know, we're not seeing Delve used as much. We're going to see it flowing more and more through into our sort of inherent environment, like you know your OneDrive and everything that's starting to come up and flow through into Teams when you go click on files. All that's starting to flow in. So if you're not cleaning it up and it's coming up in Delve, it's just going to show up here, 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 here anyway. So you're going to need to come up with a plan to be able to fix what's going on rather than going, oh, well, Delve will just turn it off because that's not the way that the Microsoft ecosystem actually work. It wants you to be able to get things quickly and easily. So and, it'll and show collaborate. up elsewhere. Yeah, yes, and right. collaborate with each other. I mean, that's the whole yeah. point. Um, yeah, SharePoint. Yeah. Um, share. I mean, that's the highlighted word, right? We're sharing because yeah. we're collectively working on something. When I think of this, I think of uh, the importance of data integrity. And Delve, to me, initially, was a data and SharePoint integrity check. It was the first time that you actually saw things that maybe were not configured right. And you had to challenge yourself and say, do we have our governance in place? Do we have our training in place? Should Do we have too many SharePoint admins or SharePoint site owners? And really doing your due diligence going back and reviewing what that really looks like. Now, this is not certainly um, going to be closed because uh, Dell maybe surfaced it, but guess what? It's already always been exposed in search. And guess what else uses search? A new search architecture, which is M365 Copilot. So there are going to be some comparisons. And what I'll always say is optimize your data now. Think of your information governance. 
Think of how you're securing your data. Look at your uh, data loss prevention, your sensitivity labels. Make sure you have your policies in place. Uh, else, you, you will be doing the same thing. We have to shut off search. We have to shut off Dell. We can never use Copilot. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just get rid of SharePoint. We'll all work from our own home drives like we <laughs> let's did. Go put it, let's go put there. it back on an old shared drive. No VPN yeah. access. What's yeah. wrong with physical paper and writing with pens? No, no pencils. <laughs> And, so I swear that's the biggest walking IP breach I've ever seen. Do you know how many notebooks I've actually seen in meeting rooms that people have left behind? It's like, yeah. <laughs> or well, on a train or a bus or a, oh, look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, one other, one other aspect of this too, I think it's, uh, we've touched on all of the permissions uh, uh, you know, issues, but it's also about personalization. So you're limiting then the feature set, the rich features uh, uh, within these yep. collaboration tools. So um, there is the ability to go and turn it off, to sh shut off that capability. Um, so, I, and, and I've, well, I've got an article I can provide, I'll provide that in the links as well. Um, but, it, you know, I think you should really consider, again, going back, using sensitivity labels. In fact, that got called out yeah. numerous times last week on stage yes. at, the, at ESPC in Amsterdam about people need to be using sensitivity labels more. Here's an example of that um, to make sure that people are only seeing what they should be seeing, but don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah. Do you have a knowledge manager? Uh, what kind of you know systems have you got set up to go through and do do a cleanup of your you know access and hey you know they're the things that need to be done. It's going to be timely potentially. It's going to be costly potentially. You never know. But um, to be able to move forward and continue in the ecosystem, something needs to shift or change because the rug is doesn't take much to shift a rug. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sure doesn't. And, you know, culturally, I know that there are a lot of companies that are in that same position, Very that they so. need to make sure that data is not exposed. However, it was intentionally or maybe unintentionally shared. And I think they're that at Microsoft, they're developing some really great capabilities now uh, with SharePoint Advanced Management, which is a new capability uh, to do and run a lot of reports that will surface uh, a lot of sites or documents where you're sharing to everyone except external uh, that you can then. And so to me, I, I think uh, maybe shut it up, but then go in, do your reporting, uh, go and evaluate your systems. I always love to say group expiration policies is one of the best things that ever happened uh, because that will just naturally in a life cycle clean up inactive uh, sites um, and groups and just get rid of them. So I, I would say, if anything, do a cleanup. Uh, identify what is out there, what is at risk. If it's at risk, okay, now let's put a label on it. If it's at risk, what else you can do? You can go into SharePoint, into advanced settings, uh, or into the document library advanced settings, turn off search. So now it's not discoverable uh, in search nor would it then come up probably in uh, Copilot as well. So that's one of the mechanisms that you can leverage. Um, but until then, I would recommend actually putting in governance. Yeah, you, you can't get away from that governance uh, mm -hmm. conversation, folks. And, and it's a great point, too, is more and more organizations, not just thinking about search or the or what you're trying to do in this limited collaboration as you're preparing for the next phase of computing um, with Copilot and with all the AI capabilities, even more important to go in and do that cleanup. So, um, and again, for people that are wondering, how do I even get started in that world? There are tools, there are consultants that can come and help you. So there's a lot of help. There's a lot of knowledge around how to do that. But again, I go back to the original point. Don't turn off Delve. Yeah.